If you're somebody who's in their 20s and you're looking how to get started investing in real estate, get yourself a nice rental portfolio while you're pretty young, I think you're going to want to watch today's show. I'm working with a client named Josh who fits that bill. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm your host, James Wise, and folks, this show. If you don't already know, this is the show where we work together one-on-one. -on -one. And my man, Josh. Josh, you are a local cat, okay? You live around here, right? So the neighborhoods we're going to be talking about, the rental houses, right? You're actually, you are boots on the ground yourself. You could actually scope these neighborhoods out, which is nice. That's an added layer of familiarity and due diligence. But you still have a full-time job and you want to be very hands-off from the investment. So that's why you came here to Holton Wise. We could take care of you. But folks, even if you didn't want to be hands-off, you just wanted some help or some advice and getting started and then you wanted uh, to take things from there you just want to get my take on the property uh, you could still do a video or a package like this I'll give you my unbiased opinion and then you could take things from there Josh on the other hand would like to remain completely passive I like your story Josh you're a young guy you're in your 20s and you're hoping to take the money you're making from your job. You got a you know decent W-2 job. You're hoping to take that money and uh, grow a rental portfolio. You're not looking to quit your job or anything of that nature. You're not looking to fire your boss, okay? You're just looking to invest some money now so you're set up well down the road, right? That's what we do. We build net worth with real estate investing. Not everybody out there is going to be a full-time real estate entrepreneur. I love real estate, and the main reason I, I got into real estate originally is because it's a great business that you can do as a side hustle. You don't have to quit everything you're doing and jump in with two feet, right? You can continue to make your money on your day job and invest the funds. I bought my first home at 21, and it did very well for me. I went into this as a full-time profession, but not everybody needs to do that. So keep that in mind, folks. And Josh, what I want to show you is this particular property. I absolutely love this property for you and just for any investor, really, because there's a lot of things about this listing that just makes me salivate, okay? 3809 West 117th Street, Cleveland, 44111. First thing about this listing that I love, 77 days on the market. What that tells me is this listing is stale, listed by somebody out of Howard Hanna, okay? This is telling me that this is a stale listing. People are seeing this thing, and they don't like it. They don't want it. As far as the marketing, the photos, dude, oh, my God. I'm so excited. I fucking love this. This is it. This is all we get. This is this is fucking money, dude. Cha ching cha ching cha ching. I hear the fucking money hitting your fucking bank account. Why? Cuz this photo fucking sucks. It's a Google Earth photo and the agent didn't even fucking take the time to crop out uh, the Google like the Google logo and shit. Like if you got if you got a agents out there, agents. I'm talking to you now. Anybody sell the property? If you if you have to utilize a Google Earth photo for your listing, fine. But crop the fucking Google at, like crop crop the fucking logo out, please. Crop the logo out so like it's not so blatantly obvious, okay? But I love this, right? 77 days on the market, stale as far as the marketing goes, stale. No real effort put into this, but I don't want to just beat the hell out of this agent too much because I think a lot of that is probably not their fault. We have a tenant in this property paying $700 a month. Now, the way things work, Josh, okay? Josh, I, I believe you own your own home. Most people, then when they get started into real estate investing, they assume the process to buying their first rental home is going to be the same as it was when they bought their actual home that they live in. Which, by the way, guys, just, just one more thing real quick. Why we're on the topic. I do not advocate people buying rental properties before you buy your own home. If you are out there and you don't own your own home, I mean, 
guys, I'm not one to turn down money. If you guys want to send your money here, buy some MLS search analysis packages, great. We will be more than happy to take your money and help you out. But my number one advice to you is still going to be, hey, before you buy one of these properties, I want you to buy your own home first. Take care of home base first. If you want to have a roof over your head, somebody's got to pay that mortgage. Do you want that mortgage to be your mortgage or your landlord's mortgage? You always want it to be yours, guys. So roofs on our heads. We need roofs on our heads, and those are going to require a mortgage. So make sure that mortgage is yours. But back to the issue at hand. I just want to get that out there, right? So <clears throat> when you are buying your first rental property, a lot of people think that the process should be exactly like it was when you bought that first home. And a lot of the agents think that as well because the majority of agents are, I'm going to guess, like this agent, who I'm going to assume 99.9% .9 of this person's business is dealing with regular real estate where you get a client and you sell them the home because they, they toured it, they liked it, and they want to live there with their family. Most of these agents don't encounter rental real estate very often. A lot of landlords are accidentally landlords or just you know they may hook up with that realtor because they sold them their previous house right so you end up with stuff like this tenants this is a c-class neighborhood they're difficult to deal with on top of that we got covid right now dude if i'm a tenant i don't want anybody coming to my house and taking pictures i don't want random assholes tracing through my house dude I, like i might have kids i might have elderly parents like dude don't fucking come in my house right like I mean, that's a very reasonable stance to take. And people, you know, tenants were taking stances like that before COVID, right? It's very, very tough. That's why we've been so successful at Holton Wise because, A, all we do is re uh, rental real estate. And, B, you know, we've got the investment properties for sale show where when you watch that show, we don't let you guys do buyer tours, okay? We do the full video tours, right? We tour it one time with our video team. We let the tenants know, dude, it's going to be once and done. We ain't going to bother you. No looky-loos, no signs in the yard, no, none of that stuff. And uh, they're very happy about that. Sellers are very happy. It's a very efficient process, and that's why we're the number one seller. Um, but if, if you never do this type of work and you're never involved in it you wouldn't think to do that you wouldn't build that all digital infrastructure up you wouldn't spend all the money on a set and a uh, video team camera crew you know the whole night you wouldn't do that right you're probably just going to do what you normally do 99.9% .9 of the time and try to set up showings and it's just like buyer buyer's agent seller's agent seller tenant Tenant gives an appointment time. You go back through the daisy chain. Oh, that doesn't work for me. You go back through the daisy chain, back and forth, and then we got COVID. Tenants are mad about COVID. They might not show up. Whole nightmare, okay? That's why this crummy photo has led to a 77 days on the market thing. The whole, the whole process being difficult has led to this crummy photo, has led to this stale listing, and I love it because that dude is cash in the bank for you because the price, 44.9, not really a bad price for this, honestly, uh, in the right circumstances. Like if I were to be selling this particular property on the investment properties for sale show, I'd sell this motherfucker for 44.9 on the dot. I would launch that show and I'd sell that some bitch by the end of the day. But I don't see that happening here for this particular agent which is great because I want to help you buy this thing for $35,000, Josh. I think we could do this thing at $35,000. And the tenant that's already in there, they're paying $700 a month. That's $8,400 a year. Of that $700, brother, I anticipate on average, and that's with my team managing it for you, you spending approximately four oh two a month, leaving you with a two ninety eight NOI, $3,576 a year on average. Some years are going to be better. Some are going to be worse, okay? I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of the shows. If you haven't, check out more of the MLS Search Analysis shows. Uh, you know, see the kind of things I say when we talk about the expenses, right? Like for yours, okay? I've calculated for CapEx $35 a month for CapEx. CapEx is our big ticket items, right? CapEx is our roof, okay? There's a roof on this thing. I don't know how old the roof is. We, we have limited info, but when you make this offer, if we get it under contract, if you make the offer rather, and then we get it under contract, if that happens, we'll make it contingent on third-party home inspection. And, and we'll go through these things with the fine-tooth comb. But I'm anticipating 
a mid to end of life roof. I'm anticipating a mid to end of life furnace, mid to end of life hot water tank. Okay, so that's what this CapEx is for. That's what this 35 is for. You're not spending $35 on your roof every month. What you're doing is you're buying a roof one time every 30 years, small little house like this, probably four to $5,000. You're gonna drop four to five Gs every 30 years on a roof. You're gonna drop three Gs every 30 years or so on a furnace. You're gonna drop 1,000 every 15 years or so on a hot water tank. So we are calculating that out. We wouldn't wanna do our analysis and not factor in the fact that you know every 30 years or every 15 years these big expenses are coming. And another thing I wanna just touch on real quick, brother, is the repairs and maintenance, 35, right? Why this tenant is in here, I'm pretty sure we're not going to their house every month fixing $35 worth of items. What that is, is after the home goes vacant, you might have a two or $3,000 turnover, things of that nature, right? So we're, we're, we're calculating all these. So these are average numbers. You ain't gonna hit these numbers every month or every year, but this is what you can reasonably expect for a property like this, okay? So all that said, I anticipate on an averaged out basis, if you had a bunch of properties like this, you're making approximately 300 a year, but I'd like to see you take that money because you're asking me, should I do burrs? Should I just use a regular loan? Let's go ahead and just use a regular loan here, bro. All right, because I got lenders, 30-year loans, low interest, fixed interest loans. If anybody needs my lenders, sales at holtonwise.com, shoot us an email. We'll get them to you free of charge, okay? My my lenders, they will write you a loan. They'll give you 26250 You only got to put 8750 in the deal after you pay off your mortgage. This property should be a net return after all that of 25.8%. And I think it could possibly, since you're already buying with a loan, I don't think it makes sense for you to, to just like try to do a refinance out later, even if you did buy it less than what it's worth, because you're paying all those uh, origination fees and all the loan costs again, plus you're starting over on your amortization schedule. So don't think you should buy it with a loan now. And even if you have 10K of equity, uh, refinance five years down the road wouldn't make sense wouldn't be worth it but I do think you're probably gonna end up with some equity here because like I said in, in a different scenario if we didn't have a tenant in there and it was being marketed a little bit differently and we had more access to photos and we weren't dealing with the coronavirus and that making tenants even more difficult to work with uh, in a different scenario, I believe the property probably would sell for 45000 Like I said, I'd sell this son bitch for 45000 the day I sent out a show, okay? So I believe you'll get some equity with this one if we could take it down at thirty five k. But again, I don't think you need to buy it with a loan now and then just like refinance it later. It doesn't seem to make much sense to me. And another thing that you might be thinking, well, hell, I'll buy it for thirty five k right now and then I'll just get the loan after, and the appraiser is going to appraise it at 45 k so I end up with less money in the deal. Understand that thought process. I like that thought process in a perfect world. Yes, that's how that would go down. In reality, probably won't go down, okay? Here's the thing with appraisers. They are going to heavily weigh the purchase price as an indicator of value. And seeing as if you were to pick it up at 35 k and then you did no work to it, it would be a very hard thing for you to make the case to an appraiser, even though I know for a fact I'd sell this son bitch for 45k. An appraiser is going to look at the fact that you, it was on the open market, it was on the open market for 77 days. I just explained a lot of the reasons why. They're not going to look into all that. They're going to see that it was on the open market and all it sold for was 35,000. So it's going to be a super uphill battle for you to get them to reappraise that $10,000 higher. I don't see that happening. So because of all that, like I said, I think you should buy it with a loan up front. But no, down the road, we could sell this for a little bit more. In addition to all that stuff, too, you got meat on the bone here. The, the rent is 700 It's a 3-1. We put this thing in the Section 8 program. We're renting it for $1,000 a month. Now, we may have to put $15,000 into this at your next turnover to get you that Section 8 tenant at $1,000 a month. But, dude, at that point, when I got $1,000 a month, it's a Section 8 renovated home. I mean, dude, they're... You know, we got values of like 65, 70, 75 K, okay? Now, again, if you're going back into the appraisals, you might want to be looking at doing things like the mechanicals to prove that out to the appraiser, right? Your furnace, hot water tank, roof, things of that nature. I'm just giving you an idea of value. So because of all that, I love this deal for you, brother. I think it'll work. 
if you want to move forward with it, reply to this private email. Everyone else, if you're watching this show, I sent this to Josh privately a couple months ago. I only release the deals publicly on Holton Wise TV after the dust is settled. So if you want to work with me and my team one-on-one like this, go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, click the MLS search analysis show, order a package. We'll work together. Josh, reply. Let us know if you want to move forward with this deal. If not, let me know your feedback. And on your next video, I'll adjust the strategy and try to get you something different. That's all I've got for everybody today. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you smash that subscribe button because Holton Wise TV is real estate investing made easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. G'day, everyone. It's Angela Ramora here, your favorite Australian and the founder and owner of Ohio Cashflow. Over the last five years, Ohio Cashflow has established itself as the most reputable turnkey real estate investment company in the country. We offer solid B-class properties in Toledo, Ohio. We work and live in the same areas that we sell in. So when we sell your property, your tenants become our neighbors. We only take on a handful of investors every month. So for your chance to work with one of the best in the business, please fill out our investor application form, which you can find in the video notes below. Thanks for listening. And as we say down under, I'll catch you later, mate. Is that it? Yeah, we're done. All right, cool. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email, and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.